tutorial how I made this um this Janet Jackson sample beat. It was pretty easy though, it really wasn't hard at all. I'm gonna give y'all a rundown how I did it. I really didn't put too much stuff with this song at all. So I'm gonna start with the hi hats. Let's see, play the hi hats. Mm, let's see. So I'll do it now. That's all I did. Let's go to the snaps. Side bells. I love these side bells, man. These side bells are a beast. The intro. Subs, you can't really hear them. These are subs. You can't really hear them though. But you got on your headphones and got some speakers hooked up to it. But these subs got they got these subs go in though. Eh, let's see. That's just for the intro though. And then these are the main kicks. These are all three of them. One, two, and three. And I got them matched up, so let's see. Got them all matched up. And for the kicks, I got them all on the same channel. I put a sound good eyes on there, so the kicks sound cleaner. Then I threw a filter on there to make them even more cleaner, more clearer. Then, you know, you got those some punchy tools in there. I did this to roll it off, so it won't be that much reflex. I put a four over here and put a three down here. I put this four over here to make it even more cleaner. And threw this three down here to balance out with the bass. You know, if you got three kids together, that shit gonna, it's going to put trunks on fire in there. And you got it. the subs. It's the main sub through the song. And this right here, I got this slide on. I used that slide, you know what I'm saying, to make it a different bass bound. You know what I'm saying? It go through. I do go down, then it go down, then it go down. And I put it up higher so you can hear it. If I left it at the same volume, you're not going to hear it. So that's why I raise the volume all the way up. I keep these down because you don't need the bass one too loud because they're going to come through depending on how you master that up. And got some melody kicks. And these going to go match up with the sub too. They gonna go match up with the sub too. And you see, some of them I got higher because I want them to stand out. You know what I'm saying? Them like the basics, get them to stand out, get them to stand out. And I didn't want that one to stand out as much because I got this one coming out and then this one coming in. And let's see, arps. You hear this like you hear this arps a lot like in reggae beats. I love reggae beats. Like I'll flip a reggae beat and put away R and B any day. Or put away trap. It don't make me no difference. But I love reggae shit though. That's why I would say don't sleep on that reggae shit. If you know how to flip shit, it's gonna work, trust me. And we got my logo. That's my logo. And last but not least, bongos. And how I did that. And that should be about it. So, I pretty much showed you everything. And let's see. And here's my samples. These are my samples. I can not like this beat. Now, 
that's how it sounds without my stuff I put in here. Okay. And y'all pretty much heard that. Now on to the song. And let's see. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, it's the live filter right here. I used this for the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Give it a more, uh, how should I say this? Distinctive sound before I get to the real sound. So I gave it that, you know, just for this. And like I said, you know, the bongo sound good eyes are on there. And I threw a little three right there. I made it go up. Took a little bass out of there. Make it still clean it up. 808s, you know what I'm saying? I usually don't throw 808s in a mixer, but for this purpose, I did. <laughs> Hi hats, you know, same basic shit. Pause, keep it like that. Snaps, um, snaps, pretty much the same thing. And I added a little reverb on there for the snaps. Uh, side bells, you know how to do it. Delay, a little bit of a reverb, not too much. I just put it halfway up. And I turn up the low end a tad bit, you know, to give it more of a separation from the other low end sounds and or high end sounds, I should say. Trap bells, it's a lot of shit that went with this one. That's the on um, the reggae bells you heard. Put a reverb on there, put a phaser on there. The phaser will go all over the place, and the exact phaser I used, I believe, is I used the default. I used the default phase. So, oops, wrong shit. I used like a default phase, and that's an easy one to fix. So, phaser, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I actually used a delay too. You know what I'm saying? To make it echo a little bit, give it more of a sound. And then this right here, I used this for the Giants Dancing beat to cut out the drums and the bass lines. I used uh, a multi-band compressor to make to bring out more sound and kill more bass. And I used a soft clipper so the sound won't go over. So we got boss tag, you know that. And I said free love filter. I used the low pass right here to bring out more bass than the sound. And then it's going to come into the sound. And let's see. Maximus. This is how I pretty much master all my beats, so let's hit it. For that tutorial, tune in for the next videos as I come back out with XL for some more shit. You know what I'm saying? Deuces on this real shit, nigga. Share this shit.